like over moisturize my skin. In the winter time, my skin gets really, really, really dry. Um, half of you guys know this. Some of you guys notice it in my tutorials. You guys be like, this makeup looks crazy. You put on too much makeup. And it's not me putting on too much makeup. It's really just my skin being dry because that's just how I am in the winter. I've been using shea butter. I don't know what the top is. <laughs> I don't know where the top is to anything, okay? If you don't want to use raw African shea butter, you can use this Nivea cream. I don't know how much it is, but you can definitely find it at like a drugstore, beauty supply store, whatever. So I'm gonna moisturize my face with this shea butter. Um, I just feel like shea butter really does my face so good. Like, oh. It just feels so good. Comment below if you remember when I used to use a and ointment. Now we're gonna go on to primer. So I use the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. So I'm gonna take some, squeeze some on my hand and then just moisturize it into my skin, kinda like lotion. As you can see, my skin is all hydrated. If you have oily skin, these products will not work for you because you'll just like produce more oil and you'll be a greasy mess. So we're gonna start off with foundation. Now, some people do not know the meaning of foundation. They get it confused with concealer. Now, the difference between foundation and concealer is that foundation is to even your complexion. Concealer is to hide and conceal all the spots that you don't want to show or things that you want to make smaller. They are two different things. So today we're going to be using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. This is my favorite. This is like my third or fourth bottle. I don't know. I'm in the color Praline right now. When it's summertime, I'm in the color Pecan. Today I'm going to be using a beauty blender. This beauty blender is wet. So basically what I do is I run it underwater, squeeze it in and out, let the beauty blender fill up with water, Squeeze the water out and basically it's damp now. You can use a brush for a foundation. If you want to use a brush, I would prefer a brush like this one. This is um, a dome flat brush. You can find these on Morphe. They're really cheap on Morphe. Um, you can go to ELF. They're really, really, really cheap on ELF. They're like three, six dollars or something like that. So I'm going to pump about three pumps on the Beauty Blender and distribute it on one side of my face. You want to make sure you take it on your jawline because you don't want a line right here. That will be so embarrassing in pictures. Okay, so I did one side of my face. Now, you're not going to notice a big difference because foundation is not supposed to make you look completely different or change your skin complexion. So as you can see, it's super duper like flawless. Now, I'm not saying that my skin, my natural skin is bad, but you can definitely see a difference. As you can see, like the red hair, the redness around my cheek area and around my nose. So we're basically done with foundation, so we're going to move on to concealer. Now basically the job concealer does is hide all the spots that you don't want to show. Everyone usually puts concealer under their eyes. That's sometimes because they have bags. With the bags, we use concealer to flatten out. Or they have dark spots, which will be to hide. So the concealer that we're going to be using is the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Oh, I said it backwards. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. <laughs> so this is in the color Caramel, and it comes like this. It looks like a lipstick wand. I actually don't like that because I don't feel like it applies as much product as it should. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just so used to heavy makeup, you know? But anyways, I'm going to put this under my eyes. down the bridge of my nose, above my lip, and on my chin. Now some people like to contour and highlight at the same time, but I just don't like to do that because I just feel like it just interferes with everything. For the sake of the video, I'm going to 
whatever. I'm gonna take the Anastasia foundation stick. Um, yes, this is a foundation stick, but it is a cream stick, so it is good for contours. So Anastasia Beverly Hills made these foundation sticks for people to be able to use them as foundation, contour, and highlight. I like to use one of them for my contour because it just fits perfectly. This is in the color Walnut. Draw like the tiniest line right there. I don't like to draw it all the way down there because that makes no sense. It just makes no sense. If you draw a line all the way down here, literally your contour is going to go down there. You just want your contour to be here. Like you don't want it to be down there by your mouth because no. You don't want that. <laughs> and you can also contour around your forehead, but because I wear lace frontals, I don't like to do that because then the makeup gets in my baby hairs and all of that stuff. Um, if you like to contour on your chin, then you can do that. But I personally don't like to do it because it makes my jawline look really, really, really strong. And then I kind of start looking like a man a little bit, to be honest. I'm gonna take the beauty blender and I'm gonna take the point. I'm first gonna blend out my highlighted areas and everything, and then I'm gonna go on to contour. Want to make sure you get in those areas, in those creases. And then we're going to take the end of the beauty blender and blend out our contour. I'm gonna be taking the Laura Mercier, again, here we go, <laughs> a translucent powder. And this is like a known product in the beauty community. Everyone loves this. As you can see, this is my powder. Now me, I like to mix my powders. I like to take this Benai Luxury Powder. This is in the color Dolce. Now this is like way too dark for me, like too dark. So I like to take some of this and put it in the white Laura Mercier powder, mix that together and kind of get like my perfect color. It doesn't make it too brown because it's like, you know, the translucent powder is white. So it kind of lightens up this powder. I only put a little bit though. So this is my desk and this is the powder and this is the Benai powder. As you can see, it's really dark. And this one, I already put some in there, but I need to put just like a tiny bit more. I'm gonna take like the back of like a makeup brush or whatever, and I'm just gonna scoop some in there. You can either mix it with the brush or, or put the lid back on and shake it around, but that just makes more product come out. So I like to mix mine because I don't want a lot of product coming out. It can get really messy, so be careful. Just like that. I know don't I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is a little bit darker than it came. And that's what I like to do. Because my powder is this powder this powder is too dark. So now we're gonna set. Now you can take a brush and do this, like a powder brush. I like to take the damp beauty blender. Um, I'm gonna take like the beauty blender by itself, no more product on it. I didn't apply more product. And I'm just gonna blend out anything that has creased right here. The first place that we wanna put our powder is under our eyes, of course. And we're just gonna like dip it in there once, one good time, and pick up what's there. You can dip it in there more if you want to, but what else? So you want to like look into a mirror, <laughs> stretch your face, and apply. Now you want to apply softly. You don't want to like pick up so much product and be like looking white. You don't want to do that. So you want to apply it to look like this. This is how you want it to look. You don't want to look 
stark white and like you have so much powder because that's how you get white flashback you do not want that you want it to you want to still see your complexion if you can't afford a beauty blender then these little sponge things that you can get at the beauty supply store work just as good so like i said you want to pick up product and apply Now one thing you want to know is that you want your powder to be even. So you don't want like a big old chunk of it right here and then it's empty here and then a big old chunk right here because that's how it's going to come out when you wipe away the powder. You want all of it to be even. Going next with contour powder, now this is the Morphe contour kit and um, I just switched over to this and I really like it because it suits my skin color really well. I like to take a contour brush, this one is from Carity, um, this is the F21 brush and I like to take this shade and I like to tap off the access like that and basically just set it. So now we're going to take this little powder brush, this is the Morphe M105 brush and we're just going to dust away everything. I don't like this to sit too long because then my skin gets really dry but the Laura Mercier powder is really good for not drying out my skin. Like I said, she makes amazing products for dry skin um, but I'm going to just wipe all of this away. And you also want to make sure to go in circular motion. So you don't want to just go like that. You want to like go in circular motions to blend your whole face together. So as you can see, I'm wiping away the baking powder under my eyes. And then I'm going to go into my contour and blend all of that together. So now it's like super blended. If I don't do that, then my contour would just be like hair. And then I'll have my baking powder here. You want to blend everything. This is your face, so everything has to go. Okay, so usually I like to contour my nose just a tiny bit, only because I feel like I lose it a little bit when I put the concealer on. Um, it makes it look a little flat, and I don't like that. So I'm going to go in with the contour palette, and I like to just go down... Literally just the tiniest bit, like not even, like you probably won't even be able to see it. Now you can like basically do like your eyeliner, your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your blush, your highlight, lipstick, whatever you like to do after that. But this is basically how you get the basic foundation, concealer, highlight, contour. This is how you get it on your face properly. Once you get this part correct, everything else on your face will look popping. Okay, so once you get the color of your foundation, concealer, highlight, and contour, and then you learn how to do these steps, girl, your makeup is going to be flawless. Like, you can literally have the ugliest eyeshadow ever, but if your face is beat, it's like no one can tell you anything, okay? So I basically finished my full face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys really learned something from it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like this video. Let's get this video to 20,000 likes and make sure that you are subscribed because that's how you'll be able to see my upcoming videos. Guys, in the next video, bye.